so since I've only got a little bit of battery power here, we're going to do a quick thing here. So, just so you know, the notes are going on this website here, Paranormal UFO Ghost Stories and Dreams, but the actual address is Victoria Stafford, a psychic investigation .wordpress.com. Okay, so on here you're going to see the tags, the title of the tags. I'm going to have some extra pictures, um, the video, my notes, and then extra notes that I find from my thing, and then I also add the links there for you. So you can click on them and do a search yourself. I created a brand new website for you guys. It's called SETI Well Alien Contact ID Index Idea Girl. It's at blogspot.com. There it is there. Okay. The reason I did this was um, you needed an index of all the videos because there's like about 100 of them. So what I did was I started at number one. And I give a little story about how I started doing this and why. And so video number one is the actual title. It's called Mayas, Aliens, Symbols, Math Equation, Meditation Message 5.878-3279-E6-427-8784, Kepler-22B Planet. And underneath it, of course, is the link. So if you click on the link, it'll take you to the blog post about it. Again, there's the video, and then there's the notes for it. Now these ones, the early ones don't have links because they didn't have a lot of research. The research doesn't start until we start doing the wow SETI signal. The rest of it I didn't actually put my research in with the notes. Um, uh, probably I'll go back to do it if, if I need to. But anyways, each video number has the, the title of the video that's on YouTube. And if you notice... There's going to be some extra keywords added into the actual blog post. I add extra words because on YouTube it only gives you so much space to put your title. So I added some of the keywords right into my titles. And again, there it is there. And they are linked. So if you actually click on number one on here and then go to YouTube. Actually, you can. what you can do is go to number one here, right? Click on it. Read all the notes here. Watch the video. If you want to go on to the next video, just double click on to the video itself. Okay? It takes you to the YouTube channel. It'd be cool if you left me a little note or something. Say hi. And then what I want you to do is on here, it, see it's, uh, well, number one is actually connected to the response. The re see, for some reason, my video responses didn't work for these, and I don't know why they didn't work. That's what ticks me right off. But anyways, um, sorry about that. Okay, that's not going to work for that. I thought it would. The, the SETI ones are all connected properly. For some reason, my first ones aren't connected the way they're supposed to be. So, so anyways, um, I wanted to bring that up for you. You can go to the YouTube channel, and, and it's under Part 1. See, if, if you click on the thing, it says Part 1. There. And then this is the video response. I put it onto the SETI at ADSSA. I don't know if this is part two here or not. Okay. Um, no, that's part one. Hmm. I don't know what I did there. This is what you get when you work too late at night. <laughs> don't know what you're doing, right? <laughs> so anyways, okay, so that's just a quick um, summary there of the videos that came up. Hold on. Uh, I'm lost here. I gotta go to this one here. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. So on here, we'll just, I only got a few minutes left on this, so I'm gonna read it. What it says. So it's a SETI Wow Alien Contact Index Idea Girl. So you can always go to this index, and if you can't remember what video you looked at last, you can refer to this, and it and it'll help you. Okay. This one will be more organized than the other one. So it all started in December 2011 when we found out about the Kepler 22b Earth's twin planet, which is, that's the artist's color of it there. This is somebody's picture that they made. I like their picture, so I put it on my blog. Okay, so being habitable according to some spectrum data found by SETI radio telescopes. I started to read up about it and blog the latest videos, and then I found a website where you can put out a public message via satellite to the universe in hopes that alien life forms will respond. Unfortunately, um, I've not been able to find that website. I don't know what I did with it. I've been looking for it ever since, so if you guys know where it is, let me know. 
So I sent him a message and a few days later during a meditation, I received a mathematical equation that would lead over to 100 video blogs on the Idea of Both Said's YouTube channel. I'm creating an index here for all of you to follow as of January 18, 2012. I'm currently video blogging the data found in the SETI WOW alien radio signal received August 15, 1977 by J.R. Iman. I'm at line 15. I'm also including the videos leading up to the WOW signal which starts at part 42. So if you're just interested in looking at the WOW SETI signal, you want to go to part 42. But if you want to look at the whole picture where it all started from the beginning and all the data that came up, you want to start with number one. I'm going to post the part number, video title, then the blog link where I've posted my notes, links, and research done for each mathematical equation found in that video blog. So you can follow along or do some calculations of your own. Video blog it and post it as a response to my videos if you like, the idea girl. So your first one is um, the Mayus alien symbols, which we talked about. The second one is Kepler 22b, the symbol for Zero Mayas, Babylonian calendar, alien message, meditation, 5.878-3279E6. Video number three is UFO tentacles, Meditation, Mayas, Aliens, Kepler 22b, Pentacles, King of Solomon message. Video number four is the Alien Contact Message study sent December 6. Kepler 22b, Mayas respond, Onusta. You guys would probably be interested in that one, so let's take a look at that one. This is the original message that I sent out, and that's what it looks like. A little blurry. Anyways, on the notes there, I've if you look here, I write the notes here, but if you want to see the actual message that I sent, just double click on this video here, and then go to your inf show more, where it says show more, and there, there's the message I actually sent. Akamino tu kasiad, lopi ujum, thaim now, ergoti, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, for it is written, man is not alone, ipi, ona, dona, sira, sinid, I want you here. Please come to me. I want to pick your brain. Go to the light. And I updated this December 30th, 2011. So basically what I did was I put that message out. The next set of videos after the WOW study one are going to be where I actually pick apart these words to see if they mean anything. And they actually bring up data as well. So that was just weird. I've never heard these words before. It was just something that came to my mind and I wrote the message and sent it. And then uh, a few days later, I got some messages back to me, and it was this drawing here. Go to the very beginning here. Uh, very first space message. There we go. This was the math equations that I got given to me in a meditation right here. So it was a bunch of numbers with these symbols and I had to sit here and figure out how to do the functions because I'm not very good at functions or math, right? So then I came up with all these little equations and numbers and then I found out that the Mayan star is drawn this way with the longer point to the right. So then I flipped my star. See, there's their star, but mine's different. So that's in this... Uh, uh, each point was numbered, so then I looked up the square roots, and I came up with this mathematical equation. I figured out all the numbers up here, and that's what it comes out to. And it came to 5.878327.96, right? So I did a Google on the number, and what came up was this message. Perhaps the earliest systematic use of a symbol for zero in a place value system is found in the mathematics of the Mayas of Central and South. So when I googled Mayas of Central and South, I found out that they were a civilization that was 3,000 years old. And so I got really excited about that. And then, of course, from there we started all these different videos. And we did. And then what I did in those in the first set of videos, I take this equation and I, I d divide it up to find out what each of the equations meant and what kind of data came up with it. And I started getting stuff on how to build a spaceship. Seriously. How to build it, what it should look like, what kind of things should be in it. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. Because that was one of my meditation questions was, you know, I think it would be awesome if, if we as human beings could actually go and visit the Kepler space um, solar system. 
It is 600 light years away. It's impossible for us to get there. It would take us millions of years to get there with the stuff we've got right now. So when I did the meditation, I said, well, I'll just can you show us how to build a faster spaceship because you guys are flying around the universe like nothing right and then in another video i say that they should actually calculate how long it takes for a ufo that sighting because some of these ufo sightings if you really look at the different cities and stuff they are all within a couple days of each other so i don't know if it takes them that long to fly there or if they just show up at that time period or they're noticed but they're the same. A lot of them look the same. So uh, they're going from one city to another and they're doing it for some reason. And then if you look at the um, UFO sightings and cross-reference it with crop circles, it's pretty cool. So when I do the crop circle series, of course, I'm going to be doing that too, right? So this is talking about the carrier suspended air. Now what I found was inventions and, and theories that people had written over the years. And these are all in the earlier videos. So I'm just giving you a quick little review here. Because we're in the middle of the, we're at uh, videos number 70, right? So these are the very earlier videos, what they're all about. So you can see what we did some blogging about. And what we covered. There's the Kepler-22 system came up in it. And I, I was really excited about that. When I googled it, and then it brings up the Kepler 22B, and I hadn't really heard about it, right? I mean, I heard about it, but I didn't know anything about it. And then I started googling this message that I got, and then this comes up, and I'm thinking, what's going on here? Why are these coming up together? So then, and then I found out the Maya are living in that area, and there's the different star calculations and stuff that we work on. Aerospace crafts. We got Stonehenge comes up. We find out what Stonehenge and why, it, what it does. We find out how pyramids are built. All from these math equations. Space travel ship message. Um, this is the diagram of the spaceship I saw in my dream. And this is the same spaceship that's been sighted all over the world. So of course I look up UFO sightings and. You see, there's someone else that sees something similar. So these are in the other videos, if you want to take a look at them. We go back to the symbol for zero, what it means. Then the next section we did was about the meditations that I did to um, get this message. And then I also show you, um, I Google the actual words from these meditations to see what stuff comes up and again we get more stuff from NASA I come up with alien DNA alien um, uh, creatures that are found that are 3,000 years old living on earth <laughs> yeah, yeah that was cool um, we talk about stars and coordinates from stars this one brought up um, just meditation stuff these are the different meditations that I do when I do an when I say I'm doing an alien meditation I listen to all these videos at the exact same time with my headset on you want to get a Sony headset these are you want to get one that's got noise it cancels out the noise but I got this set here it's a good set and they're uh, they're great they block out all the sounds and it also makes the binaural beats really reverberate really well so um, this this meditation brought up Apollo 11. This meditation brought up Spectrum. This is when I first started reading about Spectrum. Um, transmutations, changing frequencies, Star V Lamb. I still don't. I still haven't found anything about the Star V Lamb. I don't know what that means. This is about program circuits. Now the funny thing is this program circuit that comes up here ends up coming up in the wow signal as well and it's basically they're having trouble programming this program or something and th actually the stuff that's in here would solve the problem so we've solved a couple of problems for NASA which um, I don't know if they know yet or not but if they look at the notes and stuff they'll find some answers to their uh, problems um, this is also talking about the planet Nibiru I know a lot of you don't know about that it's it's basically hidden. It's between the moon and the sun, and it's on a direct course towards Earth, which makes me nervous because part of the main 
end of the world prophecy talks about a large comet or a large planet coming towards Earth. And guess what? We do have one that's showing up in our solar system. I don't know if it's going to hit Earth or not. But they've got uh, different inventions that they've made to help with that. So let's hope that they do something about it. So and then we've got this uh, different types of spectrum. So we learned about spectrum. And we find uh, data from NASA and stuff that comes up. Then we got solar coronas that came up in the uh, series. And then uh, this is the James Webb Telescope. They're currently building it. It's going to be released in 2018. They hope to find the beginning of the universe and tell us more about the Big Bang Theory and, and how that happened. Or, you know, they'll find out how the Earth was created, so to say. Then we've got, we study about planets and the sun. And this is where I start doing my calculations as to where I think the Mayas are located based on my the number that I'm giving and then the distance between the Sun and Venus and Sun and, and Saturn because those are the two planets that it's in between. So then I come up with these calculations and then I take and I look for a star chart because I don't know anything about the stars other than I know the Big Dipper and I know the Orion's Belt. That's it. <laughs> I knew there was nine planets in the solar system, but I didn't know where they were or anything. So then the next video was talking about looking for the celestial sphere and how to figure out. And I did figure out where the Mayas were located in this section here. Okay, so then the next one is the distance of our planet and theirs. Then I look at these star charts and stuff and pinpoint that their location's right here where this great big X is. I still don't know if it's in the Kepler region, but I'm assuming it is. And then while I'm doing that, of course, I find this Quasar radio space transmission, which is an alien radio signal that they've picked up um, in between the in the Pegasus star region, which is the region I say where the Mayas are currently hiding. And they have they're by M15 and the home M planet or star. I don't know if it's a planet or a star. I'm not sure. I couldn't have that wrong too. And that's where I found them. That's the location. There's the hours and the minutes. That's in another video. And that's in part... What number is this? Part 40. Um, it's called Aliens Maze Planetary Star System. Sorry, no. It's called Aliens Maze Planet 22 hours, 31 minutes, 51.0 seconds. Pegasus home and M15 HD 209458. Quasar GR2148 plus 11 while SETI radio signals. Okay? Next is the Institute of Radio Astronomy of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine. And then here we have our WOW theory that we started uh, with the WOW signal itself. Then we went into a contact message, what came up from the contact message from them. Then I do some research and find stuff about Egyptian hieroglyphics, UFOs, and how they do their ancient math, more ancient math, and how I start deciphering this signal. And then line one is where I start deciphering the first line of the signal. Okay, so that's the WOW theory videos are currently going all the way up to 27B. Okay, and then after that, I've got my notes for YouTube. Then I'm going to start working on the SETI message. I started deciphering that and gave up on that. I went into the, the, to the WOW message that was more interesting than mine. So this is my stuff and that's their stuff. And this is, this is the whole SETI message that I originally sent. And then all the words, I take each of the words from the message and I decipher each and every word to see what it brings up. You'll, you'll be pretty surprised what comes up. It's unbelievable. <laughs> We find lost spaceships and stuff in there and satellites. This is where I talk about deciphering stuff. And I've started a section for crop circles. I'm starting to, as I go along and do the research for the SETI WOW signal, I have crop circles that are coming up. So then I'm making a note of them over here too. So I can go back and look at uh, the stuff. So basically that's what's going to be happening for this series on the Idea Go Says YouTube channel and um, I'll probably do a different index um, for each section. 
for the wow alien stuff I'm going to put it all together though it's all going to go on this site the study well alien contact all 100 videos will be listed here with their title and uh, a link to the video and link to the blog okay so I'm still at 20 minutes and this thing's still recording last time I, I stopped it and started recording it it lasted one minute and then I had to <laughs> start all over again and recharge it this battery takes three hours to recharge so it's a bit of a problem so that's all I've got there and then um, and then you, I show you the data for each thing that I do when I go in and, and post it this is an invention that they've made for a faster engine I don't know if NASA's looked at that but they should and that's on line one and then line two we're talking about the radio waves and stuff spectrum and stuff that comes up I'm just doing a quick review right now up to the first 70 videos just so you know what we talked about we find a lost city where there's um, alien life forms living in, in um, I believe it, it belongs to the lost city of Atlantis that actually is a true city that's underwater um, crop circles start coming up on line 3 then I start getting a theory that maybe the crop circles are, are related to the wow signal because the wow signal came out before the crop circles started I think there was a few of them that started but they really started coming out um, what happened is we sent out a message to outer space um, with a message on it stating we're from earth and we're humans it's some binary code we talk about that later on somewhere here and then they started putting pictures on the ground see that Isn't that pretty so they started doing these pictures and I believe that every time SETI sends out a radio signal they come to earth and put a picture on earth here thinking that they're talking to us because that's how they talk by pictures right so I'm, I'm kind of perturbed when people say that SETI's been doing this for 30 years and they have had no response they've had response they just haven't had a radio signal I think they have had a radio signal but I think you've got so many hundreds of thousands of them they can't find the ones that they're looking for and I'm actually going to go over my notes and see if there's a way that I can tune into that for you to show you how to find these alien radio signals I had an idea the other day and I'm going to blog about it once I figure out how to do it um, so I'm just doing a quick thing here trying to use up the battery I, I bet you I could have done that video you see that 20 minutes I don't know the recording time on each of these bars on my on my phone not my phone on my uh, camera because they start and then they just go real quickly on me so there's uh, all the different things that come up there's some pictures there for the Amici and then 8b this is we're talking about the ancient civilization of the Maya and we learn about a, a bit about their history line 8c we learn about the end of the world prophecy and what it actually means based on the mind calendar 8d um, is the one that okay I don't even remember doing this anyways cave paintings come up and then the the plants, the Mayan calendar, the Mayan I keep saying Mayan, sorry it's supposed to be Mayan tell I'm tired um, 260 days is the orbit of Venus and that's Kepler 22b has 260 day orbit as well that's why I think they're there then on the next section for number 9, line 9 all this data comes up in regards to um, RAX, NASA, Pearl, DS1, Airs, EO1, NMP, Avionics. This is where all the, the really heavy data comes up. And I, I touch on each thing and I put the links up on the website so that you can look at them. But a lot of the stuff that came up, I had no idea what it was. And then there was all these little components that go into a spaceship. So autonomous science craft experiment. That's another experiment that came up. And line 10A. This is about the uh, hydrogen line 
and how when you look for your radio signals for alien signals and stuff you want to look for the hydrogen line that's the area that's best to look for because that means that it's um, an alien signal according to SETI anyways that's what they say then 10B is um, on there I oh, see I divided each section into letters and stuff electromagnetic spectrum then stuff for SETI, possible uses for SETI. Then we go into electronic transitions. Find a planet, quotes. Talk about visible light.